Hello everyone, Larry Satchwell here. I'm going to start off by telling you I feel really blessed. We missed the wrath of Helene, basically. When we went to bed that night as it was making landfall, it was the eye of the storm was projected to go right over our house. During the night, it took a, a path eastward and devastated up in Asheville and uh, Augusta, Georgia, I've not heard mentioned in the news, but uh, it is devastated too. I just got a text message from one of my friends in Asheville. I'd sent him a message a couple of days ago thinking, telling him I'm thinking of him. He just let me know that they're okay. They have no power at the house, but they're managing. He's a forester, so I know that they, he can camp out for a long time, but it's devastating up there. My son just took his... Uh, giant crane up to Augusta, and he said there's nothing up there. He's got a crew up there. He's trying to find campers for them to stay in. He thinks he found a hotel where they can take a shower. They can't stay there, but they can take a shower there. Uh, he needed to get his truck, so my wife and I had to go get his truck up north of Atlanta, take it over uh, where my daughter could take, uh, take it up to him. Anyway, it's a very complicated mess. I feel blessed, and I feel like the, that life is just full right now. I, uh, of course, it's October 1st, uh, an update for the garden. Not a lot here. Uh, in fact, I'm trying to get this done in a hurry so I can go help one of my daughters and her husband move to a, a different house. So I've got the strawberry bed finished, and my plans were to plant strawberries yesterday. Those failed. The uh, place I wanted to get pine straw was not open. Uh, we've got warnings all day yesterday about air quality, and it was definitely something in the air yesterday morning. I took a picture of it right here. There's a big chemical fire down in Conyers, which is about uh, 20 miles from us, so uh, it was just not a good day. Anyway, if I can, I'll, and my mower is not working. can't get my mower working. That's why the paths look like this. So if I have time... And I've got, <laughs> I tell you, I've got a Highland Games this weekend in Florida, a three-day uh, event. Uh, and then we go to Illinois the next week for my niece's wedding. And then uh, Stone Mountain, our home games here. So these are going to be very short three- and four-day weeks here for me to work. Anyway, I digress. I hope to get my lettuce in very soon. Let's take a look at what we got. With more than 12 inches of rain uh, from Helena, it was not hard to keep the cardboard wet here. I've got a uh, water thermometer under here, and it is registering right at 70 degrees. So I may be able to get by with planting some lettuce and carrots in here this week. I'm not going to go all in. I'll probably plant one row of each and some radishes. I know the radishes will come up, but uh, anyway... That is what it is, and hopefully I can get those in so that we'll have some fresh salads this winter. Let's take a quick walk. It's here for a reason, because right over here is Mildred, and uh, she's scoping out what she can get into. I did get my potatoes planted, and here's a little video on it. Well, this is my potato patch. This is where I grow my potatoes, and this is last summer's potatoes, and... They are starting to sprout. So we're no longer using them, but they've got beautiful sprouts on like that. I can, in zone eight here, plant these in the fall and mulch them really well. And we'll have a great potato crop here come next spring. But I've also got to keep the chickens out of here. The chickens love to dig through this. And I can plant these plenty thick here. And once planted, they look like that. I might spread a few of them out. So here's the deep mulch, wheat straw. This will sprout, and then the sprouts will die over winter. And there should be very few, if any, weeds in here next spring. And this will keep the chickens out and the potatoes in. This is where I robbed Peter to pay Paul. This is where I got the topsoil for my strawberry bed. Uh, this is not going to be planted until next spring. I think I've got some well composted horse manure up in the woods, so I'll be filling that up with this. 
Maury Mildred. Not a lot blooming in the perennial gardens. The lantana is still going and a few verbena like this. I do have uh, some Mexican petunias blooming too. Probably can't see it, but right here is a spider web. I hate these things. I walk into them all day long. So I've cleaned up these two beds. Uh, the only thing working in here is Mildred. Oh, there's Goldie way down there. She's working the other side of the fence. I had these flowers planted, and then I just covered these back up because uh, somebody dug them up last night. I'm not accusing which one. I don't know who it is. Mildred keeps laying eggs back here. And we pick them up daily now that we found her nest. But that's about it, my friends. Nothing a lot going on. Uh, let me show you my tomatoes. They are looking good. Nothing on them yet. I keep spraying them with my 3-in-1 garden spray several times a day. I think I'm going to get some tomatoes before the first frost. This lettuce is not looking great. Uh, in fact, it's not looking good at all, Larry. Who are you fooling? But hopefully we'll get some soon. That's it. That's all I got to get in and edit this. Uh, I hope you're safe. I hope that uh, you get recovered from Helena as soon as possible. We only had one tree down on the fence. As I said before, I feel extremely blessed. Take care, my friends, and I'll see you on the next video.